Yeah, this is usually what we would see early January. We've gotten a little bit spoiled with those warmer starts to the day. Good news is if you are not a fan of the chillier uh, starts to the day, we're going to see afternoon highs again above average as we head into the end of the work week. A warm up ahead of our next cold front for your Saturday chance for showers with a better chance being in the Brasses Valley lingering rain into Sunday and Monday, though most of us dry and cooler as we end the weekend. Taking a look right now outside downtown Temple, 34 degrees start to the day and it is chilly no matter where you are getting up this morning. We're seeing temperatures of 15 degrees cooler than what we woke up to just yesterday in some spots. Once again, 38 in a Colleen, 36 in Waco, 46 in a College Station, 36 degrees right now in Gatesville. But take a look at what it actually feels like out there. It is feeling like the 20s in areas like Temple and Marlin. Below freezing is what it's feeling like in Waco. 29 is what it feels like in Meridian, Hamilton and Goldthwaite. So you're going to want to dress in layers for today. Going to want to bundle up for the morning, but by the time we head into the afternoon, we get that sunshine in here, which is going to help temperatures rebound back into the upper 60s for our highs today. Now, as we head into your Friday, we're going to see the wind shift to the south. We're also going to see much warmer temperatures by the afternoon as we top out in the 70s. Cloud cover is going to start to build in by your Friday night and a couple of lingering showers on your Saturday morning. Now, the system is going to start to move through a little bit later in the day and we're going to see scattered showers by the time we roll into your Saturday afternoon ahead of this system. Now this is your look by the time we get into noon on your Saturday and as you can see it's not that widespread rain so not everybody is going to be needing those umbrellas for your Saturday plans and by the time we roll closer to your Saturday evening once this front starts to move through we're going to see most of this rain start to shift off to the east with a Brazos Valley really seeing the better chance to have that rain sticking around through Saturday night. The rest of us really just going to see cloudy and cooler temperatures for any of those outdoor plans that you have. By the time we get into your Sunday, just a couple of lingering showers early in the Brazos Valley, but otherwise we get back to that dry picture. A couple of storms are going to be possible with this system, though overall the severe threat is very low, not even a marginal risk for severe storms with this event. So great news. Don't want to have to worry about that for your Saturday, but as we uh, also look at those rainfall totals, it is very low as well, which is not so good news. Our first drought monitor of the year comes out a little bit later this morning. Likely won't show much improvement considering the lack of rainfall, though we will see some cooler near normal temperatures to end the weekend.